Ken Clausen here doing your week four update for lacrosse mustache madness. Let me tell you, week four was one for the record books. 100 new fundraisers joined the madness and over $24,000 was raised during week four of the campaign. We've currently raised over $83,000 and with three weeks left in the competition, we are just $27,000 shy of our $110,000 fundraising goal. We are off to our best start in campaign history and just to put this in perspective, we have currently raised over $34,000 than where we were last year to date. Keep in mind, last year was our record-breaking year of $108,000. So we are off to a great, great start. And with that being said, we're going to jump into our awards and prizes for Week 4. We're going to start, as always, with our Week 4 Lack Stash of the Week. Now, last week we did things a little different and asked for our most creative mustache to be submitted and uh, there was no doubt that Tom Holland of Friends University of Delaware Men's Lacrosse is going to win this one. If you haven't seen, Tom shaved his mustache into his chest sweater here, which was absolutely unbelievable. So congrats to Tom. We also had a prize for our best lag stash team fundraising picture. This is going to be awarded to Friends of Marquette University Men's Lacrosse. Uh, we are giving prizes out each and every week for top stashes. And so continue to submit your pictures to hashtag LaxStash to become eligible for some great prizes each and every week. We also had a contest last week for the largest incremental gain during the weekend. Rich Moses is the winner of this competition with $500 raised in just a three-day span. So great job, Rich. And uh, Rich is also the leader of our individual fundraisers. Rich of Headstrong, Texas has raised over $7,300 to date. Just four weeks. Great job, Rich. And second, we've got Dean Roseman with over $4,700 raised. In third, Ben Kamenow with over $3,300 raised. In fourth, Elijah Conti with over three grand. And in fifth, round out of the top five, Tyler Mardian with over $1,900 raised. Now, we have over 460 fundraisers signed up. Thank you for each and every one of the dollars that are submitted. Thanks to all of you for signing up. Every bit counts. Uh, and with that, we're moving towards our top five fundraising teams to date. Uh, leading the way, coming out of the darkness, is Friends of University of Delaware Men's Lacrosse with over $18,000 raised. They just joined the competition last week and have just taken the madness by storm. I'm going to circle back with them in just a little bit. But coming in second, Friends of University of Richmond Men's Lacrosse with over $9,400 raised. In third, Headstrong Texas with over $9,300 raised. In fourth, Friends of Harvard Lacrosse, with over $6,500 raised. And in fifth, rounding out the top five, Friends of Princeton University Men's Lacrosse, with over $4,700 raised to date. Now we've got over 50 teams signed up. Thank you to each and every one of you teams for signing up. And uh, thanks a lot to Friends of University of Delaware Lacrosse. They have just taken this by storm, joining last week, over $18,000 raised, over 50 fundraisers, and they are led by none other than legendary coach Schillinglaw, who has been rocking the meanest of mustaches for 20 plus years. Now this week we've reached out to Coach Schills and we have inducted him into our Lax Stash Hall of Fame. He's the first ever inductee here, so congrats to Coach for uh, for joining our Hall of Fame and uh, and thank you so much for leading your team to uh, the top fundraising team in week four with over $18,000. Three weeks left, $27,000 to close the gap. I believe we can do it. We'll see you in week five.